Wow, way to start off super blurry. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow. It's December 25th, where I officially Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. And we got ourselves a huge event, because look at that. First of all, we got the Ramu's Nephew Power Hour with five small bags and gifts and a letter and an epilogue. But I also got this mysterious Teespring bag that Red Mage just told me, Hey, by the way, there's a Teespring bag headed for you without any context. And in addition to that, we got like not one, not ten, but three... That's right, three unofficial extensions to this whole thing that I gotta read and we're gonna look at. So like we're gonna be doing this, then we're gonna be doing the whole remote thing, then we're gonna go and read things and we're gonna end with the epilogue, even if it's probably just the epilogue of his things, I'm making it the epilogue of the entirety of 24th annual December event and you can't do anything about that. There's my address on the other side of that bag and there's no wrapping so I'm just gonna put y'all in the void while I carefully open and rip this bag apart. Just make sure that you know my address doesn't accidentally get released into the wilds of the internet. Alright, there you go. I can just pull this t-shirt out with nothing revealed about the past, and then we can, we can uh, unfold it. <laughs> okay, okay, what is this going on about? I'm trying to just unfold it here. Eh, okay, do you need to roll it? How is this made? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna do that while my phone doesn't focus on anything in particular. There we go. <laughs> I am an American. <laughs> <laughs> Riding. <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> it's true. I am an American old man. That's why everyone watches my videos. <laughs> Not married though, <laughs> but I love her anyway. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> no wonder it was just thrown at me with no warning. <laughs> Let's get what is probably a lot more serious. Rameau's nephew, the neveu de Mario, uh, the, the, well, the, the neveu de Rameau, has very often uh, concluded the event. That's my real address, by the way. Like, I don't know why I made such a deal of hiding it there when it's just right here, right on the start, like, right on the starting envelope. That was really ill thought of me. Not gonna lie. Okay, how, how does one open this kind of letter. It's a crazy kind of Euro letter that, you know, you can't just pull and gnaw at and just shred apart using your teeth. You actually have to be careful and stuff. Oh, it's a bird. There we go. Oh, man, once again, there's a joke in here that I won't understand. In Eweiger E. Erinrung. Yeah, I know, right, Papatex? That's what we're always thinking about. Uh, I say, I say, Robert, what followed the storm of the Bastille? The reign of terror! Yeah, of course you'd apologize. <laughs> that is really stupid. Oh, but so in character. Alright, alright. There's this happy little muffin man here. A snowman, also known as... And within the, the snowman box, uh, there's a little bag with a bunch of chains and uh, no explanations. There's nothing else here. What does this mean? It's just like, is it like a chain? I mean, it's a chain, 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 chain. Oh, it's one of those like chain bracelet, I think. No, it's a lock. It's a lock. Wait, is it? Yeah, no, yeah, that's a tiny little lock. I wonder if I have, I think? I don't, like, dare to open it. Maybe there'll be an explanation at some point. Maybe I should read the epilogue before we move on. Like, I feel maybe something's gonna explain it. Ah, see, there we go. 
see, that's got to do with this book here that I have been sent in my direction. They shine that it's got uh, slave slavery's chains. If I were to translate this into a fake language that everyone knows, okay, saying something 150 years after abolition of slavery by the French nation, 26 writers, black writers. Uh, continues with uh, stories of today. Okay, okay. That was a really, like, on-the-fly translation there where the grammar didn't make a whole lot of sense. You gotta read ahead of time when you're going from French to English. Okay, but that makes sense now, huh? Alright, alright, alright. Okay. So, are three and four also going to be a clue for five? Uh, Okay, there is something. I'm just kind of, eh. It makes weird, squishy, plastic sounds if you're into that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I did it. What's that? That just doesn't... Okay, there's not like any hidden messages in here or anything. Like I thought... The bo oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw there was this in the bag, but it's nothing. I think it's just the bottom of the bag. Or it's a blank piece of paper. <laughs> it's as you want. Well, okay, so let's see here. This is made in China. So that doesn't really... Like, I'm trying to see. Okay, go into the void a second. I'm gonna see if I can work out the packaging strategy of this. Just, you know, just kind of fumbling about there. Because I can't tell what that is. Like, it seems to be made of metal. Oh, gosh. Um... I might have to get some blades in on this. Uh, maybe not. Let's see here. This gives me... Yeah, welcome to the darkness. There we go, there we go, there we go. I found the weak point. Ugh. All right, there we go. All right, there's a big tape, big circular tape, just locking everything into pieces. All right, let's see what I can do from here. This is, you know, that's what people like in an unboxing, is to not see any of the removal of the packages. But, I mean, I need both hands here. And, like, some torque. I need some torque strength. Ugh! What is this? It's okay, okay, I can sort of, can sort of start to make sense of things. No, I'm not, actually. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. The sweet sounds we're all hearing. Oh, look at that. So it's a big key. It's a big, like, like Kingdom Hearts style key, like very decorative. It's a bunch of keys, actually. Just a bunch of weird metal keys. Huh. Man, that was a lot. <laughs> A lot of work for that payoff. <laughs> and here is... <laughs> you fool. Oh, you fool. Alright, there's another book. I can tell by the general shape and texture. Well, not texture, but shape, sure. Whoa. The preceding decision of Jean Paul Marat as performed by inmates of the Asylum Charenton under the direction of Marquis de Sade. What? <laughs> okay. Alright, so it's a play. But I've never. What? What is going on here? Tony Award, best play. Really? Hello, theaters, the expression critics have used to describe. Huh, by the way, what he said when an inmate say each player would perform with fellow inmates at this point of the fight. Wow, okay. One of those powerful and exciting plays of the century. Because I might explain the chains and key motif going on here. What a. What a weird setup. But, like, I, I love it. There's a weird. Like, this is. This is honestly pretty neat, like, this whole 
giftural texture to invent a new idiom where one is possibly not needed. This is really special. I'm looking forward to reading these. Like, as of yet, every time you've sent me something to read, uh, it was always extremely different, and uh, I've always thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I'm looking forward to this. Man, like, just, I don't know, man, breathe in what's going on here. And, uh, like, I don't know, there's something, there's something going on, and I dig it. That guy is gonna bite down that barbed wire and hurt his jaw. What a fool! Now, there is an epilogue, but like I said, maybe the epilogue is strictly about the epilogue of what we've just opened, but that ain't gonna stop me. We're gonna end by looking at my grove screen. <laughs> That's right. That's what it's all about now. All right, so, rip. Uh, let me reload. The talk house in case there's a new message. No, there isn't. So, in no particular order, I got all three of them open here. So we're starting with the unofficial by Daiso. Not twit for a thing, but still related. Also something. <laughs> hey there, Aokao, those reading this message. It's me again. What's up? Last time I messaged, I messaged that the house I lived at has burnt down. I remember that. You will be happy to hear it has now been rebuilt and I moved in only a couple of days ago. However, however, I still have no physical objects to give you this year, sadness. But rather I have a digital one for you, for not just you, but also the talk house. Ears may be required. That's going to be a problem because my sound system is not made to extract sound outside of my earphones. So, um, I might have to link this video. <laughs> Sponsored to this is from Team Nightmare Entertainment. As you've been aware in the Discord message, Wyatt and I talked and he has given us permission to use some of the songs for demo in 100 Rooms of Enemies, a Nightmare Edition. One of these songs we're proud to reveal today is a 100 Room Advent Calendar and you're the first person outside of Team Nightmare to hear it. Usually these would be uploaded at noon PST, but I s decide to make this an event. Yeah, so I can't transfer this over. Uh, to read uh, after listening to a few seconds and you want to listen to the first loop. I don't know. Oh, okay, so is that a link? Yeah, see if you oh wait, it's not if you look here See it leads to a uh, so I Mean let's just open it up here and see like yeah, see like okay like there's a whole thing going on, but I'm not set up so that people things can be heard so uh, I'm gonna link this and uh, you can listen to this, this thing that's probably going to be released by then. But details uh, uh, is going to show. Oh, remember when that rad final, final level theme got tweaked in A2MT? You'll be happy to know that we've, man we've managed to recover it so the early version has a proper home. This is the version shown off in Wyatt's video where the volcano theme and quiet part remain intact. Oh, it's that mixed! At first we didn't even know if we could get a hold of any A2MT tracks, considering how hard it was to get any for Jump and a Half. But it turns out we had quite a decent collection now. We can assure you Demo is in good hands. If you're wondering how we got this version, Wyatt didn't actually have the TXT for it. Instead, we extracted the data from the old SPC thanks to some neat tools. Then we ripped the samples and put the pieces back together. Before you ask, yes, Wyatt did give us permission to use it. Why was this theme spoiled for the public? Because we have a bigger surprise for the final release. Merry Christmas, Daiso Devon. Uh, my new resolution for 2020 will be not breaking the rules for this. <laughs> oh man, that is so rad. Uh, yeah, no, I'll be listening to this once this is done. Like, so when I get a text thing like this, you know, I'm just gonna skim for links to see what I need to be prepared for, but I didn't think it'd be a hey, you need sound kind of thing. I just not set up to have external sound right now. I am not prepared. But I'll try to remember to put a link of a screaming rotating coos for the betterment of all mankind. And also we got an official thing by McNackis, 
We did participate last year. Hey there, Al Cal, this is Predictable Intro. <laughs> Jumping on this, I missed the boat bandwagon to give you something I've been working on for a while with a few other Pataponers. That's the code name for peeps that are on my uh, Patreon Discord. This isn't strictly speaking made for Rao Miss Gift Giving, but heck, heck and heck, I might as well throw it in since the timing is too perfect. So here's the deal. Let's Cortex probably my favorite podcast, Pirius. I don't even think I've ever seen a roleplay party be so inept and yet so brilliant at the same time. And I love that not everyone is on the same page. Huge props to Horikawa for jamming a game with so many moving parts and so many hilariously out of place, out of the blue plan. Uh, uh some month ago... <laughs> That's a funny phrase. I played a certain tabletop simulator game with some pad upon and had an idea. So after months of work, procrastination, and computer trouble, I can finally show off the most likely final product. Special thanks to Mayo, Mina, P P Pison's Creation, General World, and other artists for making this possible. Fortunately, the only way I know how to send you to you in a talk house friendly way is to give you a OneDrive link to a zip folder. So I hope that works. Hope you enjoyed the books I sent last year and have a Merry Crunkmas. And uh, I did my my do. I download this ahead of time. And what it looks to be, it seems to be a, a book, uh, a deck of 1,000 white cars, which is a book that is played on the Patreon thing. Yeah, I, I like, yeah, this, this is the same format as the things we got there. Oh man, so it's just like uh, like 15 cards, 16 cards that are based on in-jokes in there. Okay, everybody will level up. There we go. Oh wow. So we got like the episode name. Huh. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go through these. Uh, would you like to buy yacht insurance? I don't remember that context at all. Okay, I kind of get that. Put a stick, put a stick in the bread and make it a hammer. I remember that. There's another car that has been equipped. Bing. Now, so if anyone doesn't know what a thousand white cards is, it's a sort of like game where you're supposed to just kind of write down cards, like kind of ad hoc, and then play the game with it, with the rules being as loosely or as precisely designed, uh, you know. As it would be. Uh, the thing is, Panapon made a whole thing out of it with fairly stable rule in a weird way. I am the police. Yeah, no, I, I, th this, this, this is I, a quote I remember. And runs over to the body and explodes. Uh, <laughs> Here's a hey kid. You want to be a cop? I remember that. Oh, I extremely remember that. There you go. Oh man, there's some more uh, line art. All right, I am in. I don't think I saw that. That display already been so long and I don't remember. We're gonna be able to walk out no problem. Fair enough. Brr 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 brr. No, yeah. <laughs> this would make sense only for certain people. There's poor Carlos. There is, have I told you about my ball cap collection, which the art there is a little misleading. You manage to step on a gun and goes off and explodes. That classic moment early on in the game. And I peel out. <laughs> Another, not a classic moment I'd say, but this is episode 60 that it's been taken from. Uh, you can do anything, ukulele boy. I mean, a lot of these do sound like they kind of come out of the of a of just a video of some kind. Self defense. Now there's <laughs> there's a reference. Goodbye, Mr. Pacifist. Yeah, a lot of these not gonna make a whole lot of sense because I'm offering no context whatsoever. We did negative progress. Negative as a spelling mistake. That's my input. And there's a Sturg point. Do with it as you must. Uh, all right. <laughs> that is, that, there's a lot of work into those. Like, honestly, like, they could pass off as an official, like, product. I mean, of course, those are images on a computer. Like, they're not printed out. But I just print out on pro cardstock for cars and, like, you'd be there. 
And here we go, last one from Holo. Read after experience the final gift. I have done so. Hey there, everyone. Uh, uh, hey there, Raoka. Hope you don't mind one last unofficial stowaway gift. By the time reading this, the new Smebex 2 Beta 4 trailer should be live if you haven't seen or heard about it. Well, surprise, a new public. Episode viable release of the engine is coming out in January. Oh, this is good news for a 2XC2. So that is a YouTube YouTube zone. Oh yes, an official trailer. So I mean, again, we don't. I don't have sound, but uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be linking that. Oh man, that flare effect in and <laughs> is that an engine? Oh, what kinds of tune? Uh, yeah. So this is a preview. I'm gonna put the link in the thing because, like, like who wants to see just cell phone footage of a YouTube video? <laughs> it's gonna be on the internet. It's gonna be on the link. But we've been saving one more announcement for today. Once we've decided to break to you early uh, and thus give you the opportunity to share with the talk house and your viewer in whatever manner and at whatever time you prefer. You could show it a December event video, which we're doing right now. Make it its own video and upload it right away. Just drop this DM on the forum or even not reveal and keep it a secret until the end of all things trademark. The death gift for A2XT2 has been development for a while and we underestimate how long it would take to finish once before. Uh, ever since we missed that deadline and make sure not to give a release window until we were 100 confident with it. But today we'll have you announce they will be out in January as well if not alongside Beta 4's release, then shortly after it. The dev kit will release with a handful of development document and guides, as well as example level pack featuring a boss, a town, and a full prologue of the game. Some aspect of the game's development, such as the voice work, okay, and collab levels will get their own packages and document later in Q1, Q2. We'll have more info on those, as well as a status update about the official ASMT series Discord server, ready by January 1st, 2020. You, have, you haven't exactly had the scarcity of demo this month, but look forward to kicking off the new year and or decade. We'll wait for the most resolved to see the community's verdict on a letter. With even more of the Cerulean Cyclops. Oh, jeez. Is this another year where we're ending with the promise of A2XT2? <laughs> I mean, man, if it can be real, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So here we go, man. Just making it official, everyone seeing this now in the place they might not expect because it's just kind of jumbled upon another universe's worth of context. Wow, this video is going to be long. But let me unfold the epilogue for an event that was not meant to be the epilogue of. Oh, there we go. I just opened up the... <laughs> What's the point of a revolution without general? Copulation? Copulate. I do not understand. Oh no. What's the point of a revolution without general. general. copulation? I. I don't. Where's the joke? Where's the pun? I'm so lost. But there's some arts and craftsmanship there. Look at that. Put together. Yeah! 